Greetings. My name is Dr. Delton Chen, and I am the author of the 2018 paper titled Utility of the Blockchain for Climate Mitigation, as found in Volume 1, Issue 1 of the Journal of the British Blockchain Association, JBBA. This paper addresses three major topics in relation to using blockchains for climate mitigation, namely, one, what are the opportunities for using blockchains for mitigating climate change? Two, do blockchains have a significant effect in mitigating climate change? And three, if blockchains do not currently facilitate a resolution to the climate crisis, then how could blockchains be used to have a greater positive impact? In response to the third topic, I present an argument at the end of the paper that conventional policies and blockchain applications are insufficient for addressing the main ambition of the Paris Climate Agreement and I provide a recommendation that a new macro prudential framework is needed to manage the climate risk. This recommendation includes the use of central bank digital currencies and related monetary policy because several trillion dollars a year of new climate finance is needed to fund a rapid transition of the economy and decarbonisation to remain below one and a half to two degrees Celsius of global warming. These recommendations are further explained in a book that was published in 2019 called Transforming Climate Finance and Green Investment with Blockchains. Details of this book are provided in the paper under reference number 33. This is the first such book on using blockchains for green finance. Referring to section 1 of the paper, I provide a brief introduction to blockchain technologies and I discuss the energy demand of both public and permissioned blockchain ledgers. I then provide a brief summary of the climate crisis and this is important because there is a need to emphasise the risks posed by climate feedbacks and the intractable problem of dirty economic growth. Referring to section two of the paper, I summarise four conventional applications of blockchains in climate mitigation, including one, uh, their application in carbon stock taking and recording the NDCs under the Paris Agreement, uh, two, their application in carbon offset markets. Three, their application in energy markets, such as in microgrids. And four, in the development of green cryptocurrencies. These four applications are microeconomic in nature, and they are unlikely to resolve the climate crisis. And so I discuss a possible resolution to the climate crisis in section 2.5, which is titled The New Economy. In this section on the new economy, I underscore the importance of unconventional monetary policy and the potential involvement of central banks. The evidence shows that central banks can purchase assets valued in the tens of trillions of dollars this is the scale of finance that is actually needed to, to manage the climate risk. So, in conclusion, the paper describes a number of blockchain applications with examples. However, to resolve the climate crisis, I argue that an interdisciplinary effort is urgently needed to develop radical new policies that are macroeconomic in nature. Such policies should make use of distributed ledger technologies where appropriate. If we are to solve the climate crisis, we must leave our silos of specialisation and work together to design a new economy with the involvement of central banks. And this is where blockchain technologies can reach their full potential. Thank you. If you have any questions about the paper, please contact me by email.